Smart Detailing University training facility and we're gonna talk all about glass repair. Now that's fixing chips, bullseyes, and small cracks in windshields. Now there's a perfect way to do this and if you're a professional, this is a perfect add-on to your business and what's called a cross-sell. Customer comes to get a detail service done and a lot of people have rock chips so you can also upsell them on that service. It's a great way to connect your business and get more business that comes to your detailing services. We're gonna go over how to use the kit and we're gonna talk about how to fix and inspect cracks in windshield. So I have one of our training windshields right here. This is a windshield that we break and we have cracks on. And we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate the process as we go. Now all uh, glass on windshields nowadays is a very standardized process. It's two layers of glass with a plastic glue center and that's actually going to make sure that the windshield looks the best. This is called a structural repair with cosmetic benefits. It's designed to protect the windshield from cracking even more. So if you notice right here, this big, huge crack right here, it's all across the windshield, that actually occurred from a smaller crack starting and then spreading. So we're gonna go ahead and fix the small crack and prevent it from spreading. To do that today, we're gonna use the all new Glass Mechanics Daytona kit. Now the Glass Mechanics Daytona kit is a very high tech kit. It uses the most in advanced injector on the planet to push the resin in, suck out the air, and get the best seal on the window. Now this is the Glass Mechanics Daytona kit. It's the higher end kit that Glass Mechanics offers. It has everything that you can need to do the glass repair. I'll go over everything that comes with in the kit. It comes with the bridge. This is the bridge with an advanced type of suction cup. The suction is very, very strong where you can set it on the surface. It sucks down. And we can even pick up the whole desk if you notice that we're lifting it up, okay? That's a quick release kit and it's designed for super strong repairs. It's a three-pointed kit. The standard kit comes with a two-point kit, but this is a three-point kit, which I really like. It also comes with the injector. This is the advanced injector. It's made out of um, CNC cut metal and it actually has a twist lock system and can actually make sure that you get the best sealing. This is a unique injector because it actually uses two seals a top seal and a bottom seal, which actually really seal out the air and suck out all of the solution that's inside the kit. This is gonna use a resin type of solution that's gonna make sure it sucks it out the best. You can always tell if you have a good windshield repair kit by putting your thumb on the top, sucking out all the vacuum, and you'll listen for that classic sound of the pop. We'll see if we can do it right into the mic. There we go, that nice classic pop is really what makes the difference. Next, we also have our resins. This one comes with two resins. It comes with a ProLine Plus resin. Also comes with a thinner ProLine resin. Also comes with a pit filler. A loo to view the crack. Backing mirror. Curing tabs. Drill bits to drill the, the crack if you're looking for. A cork to polish it. Pit fill polish. Injector seal lubricant. A pick to inspect the crack brushes to clean. It also comes with a whole underside, extra razor blades, a big fat pack of 100. Also comes with UV protection screen. So if you need to protect your uh, crack from UV rays like you're using it outside, it comes with a special UV protection screen which protects uh, your repair from being cured in solar rays. It comes with a Dremel drill, allows you to drill the crack. Battery charger pack of gloves. These are latex gloves without powder. Comes with a curing light. This one's plug. This one's a plug-in version. It also comes with a battery version for your regular repairs because this is actually a training facility kit that we use to train our students on. Also comes with safety glasses. They're super important. Uh, and it also comes with a quick start guide. So you have a quick start guide. So if you haven't done a repair in a while, you can always go ahead and get the quick start guide going. Even comes with a DVD training uh, package, which we really like. Once you purchase this kit, you actually get sent into the online training facility. So you can actually learn how to use the kit without any videos right on your own computer. It's a really cool kit. So let's first go ahead and get started with the process. And I'm gonna show you all the different processes on how to do the repair. So let's go ahead and get started. I also like the glass mechanics kit because it comes in its own little toolbox. So you can take it around, put it in your detailing van. It makes you very mobile. And it's a great solution to doing any type of windshield repair. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and first explain the crack. So let's go ahead and first clean the window. The first thing you wanna do before inspecting any type of crack is clean the window. We're gonna use our streak-free window clean. This is in a professional bottle with a gold tokel sprayer. So we get a nice, awesome spray pattern all over the window. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the window first. Now we've done a lot of repairs on this window. This is one of our uh, training facility windows. It's a great example uh, on a window 
that needs to be repaired and we can also make brakes and do big repairs, small repairs. It's a really cool windshield for that. There we go. Now let's start the repair. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to circle the repair that I'm going to work on. There's a lot of chips on this windshield. I'm going to repair this one right there. Okay. I went ahead and circled it for you so it's easy to see on the camera. Now to make it a little bit more visible because cracks are a little bit harder to see on a windshield, I'm going to go ahead and put a white piece of paper on the background and you can fully see the crack. This is a crack that we're going to be working with. It's what's called a star break. Now a star break is a break that has a center impact point and that has a lot of legs. These legs spread out and they cause uh, problems with the windshield spreading. So those little legs that are coming off the windshield can turn into big legs whether the windshield gets hot or cold or stress on the vehicle. The windshield is actually a structural part of the vehicle and since the roof and the body are connected through the windshield, it can actually cause flex and that can cause that crack to spread even more. So let's do our first step. Now our first step is going to be able to probe it. I'm going to grab my probe. There's a right angle probe and a straight probe so we can get a perfect probe action. So I'm going to first go ahead and probe out the crack. Now the purpose of the probe is to pull out any loose debris and make the center impact point more visible because that's where we're going to push in all of our resin. You can also use the right side of the crack right here if you want to maybe make it a little bit bigger. We want to make our impact point very prominent. There we go. I think that's perfectly good. We got a nice perfect impact point. I can feel it. I know it's there and we're ready to go. What happens with these cracks is that since there's two layers of glass with a plastic inner layer, that plastic inner layer gets compromised and it becomes a, a pocket of air and that's what leads to the crack. So we're going to go ahead and do the next couple steps. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bridge and then we're going to go ahead and start up and I'll see you in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and first start with my bridge. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my green cover right off the bridge, put it away and I'm going to go ahead and access the bridge. Now the bridge is a cool unit because it actually has full adjustment right on the top so we can adjust left, right, up and down to get right on the crack. That means we're going to get the best seal. It's all about injecting the resin right into the top. Now next you want to go ahead and grab your injector housing. Now the injector housing actually has a seal right on the top. It comes with spare seals in the kit but the seal is going to make sure that we get a good nice tight seal on the windshield. I'm going to take that out for a moment. Now once you're done you want to want to go ahead and take your injector and you're going to want to lube up the seals. Now we go over the, the lubing te uh, technique in the video and our class but you also want to place lube and resin on the seals. We've already done that earlier today because we've been doing repairs earlier in the session we we're teaching a class so we can easily go ahead and get the best seal. Now you want to want to go want to go going to go ahead and line up the injector and set your set screw. There we go. Now our injector is lined up on the set screw and it can screw in and out very easily. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my housing and I'm going to go ahead and put my injector into the housing. There we go. Now if the in, the injector uses a very fine thread, so if it's not going in, don't try to force it. And once it goes in, it'll slide right in very, very easily. And what you want to do is you want to set the injector to where no threads show. So I'm going to go ahead and back it out to where no threads are showing and we have a nice top form. There we go. Now we're ready to go ahead and add our fluid. Now uh, to use, to do this today, we're going to be using the ProLine fluid. The ProLine fluid is a little bit thinner fluid than the ProLine Plus because this has legs. It's also a little bit cold in here. So I want to go ahead and let the fluid sink right in. First thing you want to do is crack off your injector to, you want to open it up to, um, you want to have two threads showing on the injector. There we go. And I can notice in here that we got a nice space in there. You can see the chamber and we're ready to rock and roll. I'm also going to hold it just like so, so I do not spin the unit. I'm going to hold it in my left hand just like this. Now what I want to do is I first want to go ahead and put five to seven drops inside the unit itself. Okay. Go ahead and drip seven drops in here. There we go, seven drops. Okay, I'm gonna back my unit out just a little bit. There we go. Now that we have our unit backed out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my injector uh, seal. Now the injector seal is made of a special type of material and it's designed to fit right inside. Go right inside. Now our resin and our seal is right in there. Now the cool thing about this uh, kit is that the kit is actually designed to be used with preloaded uh, injector resin. So we don't have to sit there injecting it while it's mounted up. We, mount, we in, 
fill it, and then we go ahead and mount it up. So I'm gonna first go ahead and turn the unit just a little tiny bit. This might be hard to see on the camera, but right till it starts to bubble out. There we go, now I see the resin starting to bubble right out. There we go, it's bubbling. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, once it's bubbling just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and back it off just a little bit, and it's actually gonna create a little concave here we go. It's very diff probably difficult to see on the camera, but it created a little concave, and that little concave is really cool because then we can flip the injector housing over and it doesn't drip out. No drip, no nothing, and we can mount it right to the windshield. So now let's go over to the windshield and mount it up. Now to mount the injector, I'm actually going to put it on its side. Okay, and I'm going to mount it kind of close to it where I can get a good aim. The reason I put it on the side is because if there's any drip, once I'm um, putting pressure on the unit, it doesn't drip on my unit. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pump and there's a red line on the pump. I wanna go ahead and pump my suction cup till the red line disappears. There you go, notice the red line has disappeared. Now I'm gonna go ahead and position my feet somewhere around there and I'm gonna start lining up the bridge. Now I wanna go ahead and move it around. As you can see, I have full movability of my unit so I can have great movement and positioning of the unit. There we go, perfect. Now to make sure I get the perfect look and I can get a 360 degree view, I'm gonna place a mirror on the back side. The mirror is included in the kit and the mirror is gonna give me a 360 degree view of the crack. There we go, now I have full 360 degree view and I can make sure I get the perfect lineup on my injector. Now first what I want to do is place it kind of in the vicinity and I want to start slowly moving down the injector housing. This is something you don't want to rush, you want to take your time and get a good repair. Okay, now I'm very very close to it. Just a little bit. Okay now this is where I have to take my time and line up on the brake. This takes practice, but it's very easy to do. The mirror is really helping me out right here, and I'm gonna make sure I go all the way around and make sure I get a good connection. There we go, I think that's very good. Okay, I like that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first go ahead and stabilize my feet, and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn down the injector till it touches the windshield. Boom, there we go. Okay, now if you notice the, the Inge the resin already started to flow right inside of the crack. That's really good. So let's start the process. I'm going to put down the injector until it's putting pressure on the windshield. Get a nice snug feel. There we go. And we also want to make sure that our bridge is parallel to our windshield. There we go. I like that. So first step is to suck out the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my housing and I'm going to go ahead and twist up the injector, there we go. Now what this is doing is it's sucking out all of the air that's trapped inside the windshield so the resin can go right in. There we go, boom. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open my phone. You can get a timer, but there is a timer wait of two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my wait for two minutes and let the cycle run through and then we're gonna go ahead and do the next step. We'll see you in two minutes. So two minutes have gone by and now we're ready to do the injector phase. The injector phase is another two minute cycle and this is, now that all the air has been sucked out, this is gonna push the resin and force it into the windshield. So we're gonna go ahead and first hold the unit with our left hand, take our right hand, and we're going to spin down the injector. Okay, now this is gonna start forcing the resin in. Now you don't wanna spin it down all the way. You're gonna actually feel a resistance, okay? And when you feel that resistance, you need to actually look at the seal and you need to turn just till you see the seal bulge. There we go. That's exactly what I want to see. I want to see a light bulge on my seal. That means that we're getting good pressure being pushed into the crack. Boom, perfect. Okay, so now that it's ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for another two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and come back and see you in a moment. So now another two minutes have gone by and we're going to put it back on our vacuum si cycle. I'm going to go ahead and hold my unit again with my thumb and four fingers so I don't spin the housing and then I'm going to release the injector. I'm going to spin it all the way out. This is sucking out any air bubbles that are blocking the resin from flowing into the crack more. And what's cool about the glass mechanics kit is it has auto stop so I don't have to worry about sucking it out too much. 
There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for two more minutes. And then when I come back, we'll see you in a moment. So now we're going to go ahead and do another injection cycle. I'm going to go ahead and hold the unit and I'm going to turn the housing right into the bottom. And once again, I'm going to wait till I feel a little bit of pressure on the unit and I'm going to go ahead and look to see if my seal is creating a bulge. I want that bulge because then I know that I'm getting a good amount of pressure pushed right in. When the crack is starting to go away, so that's what we really want to see. I'm going to leave it for another two minutes and then we're going to come back and see the results. We'll see you in two minutes. So now we've waited the two minutes on our last pressure cycle. What the pressure cycle means is that we pushed all the resin deep into the cracks. That means it filled the pit and the cracks with resin and we're going to harden it up and that's what gives the structural repair. The cosmetic benefits come from the repair being re done properly, but the structural repair makes sure that the crack does not spread and you have a safe and repaired windshield. So I'm going to go ahead and use the UV lamp and this is a four minute cycle. We're going to do two minutes on the top, two minutes on the bottom. I'm going to go and place my light right at the top. Let it rest right there. It's going to use the mirror to reflect all the light into it and we're going to wait two minutes. Then after two minutes, I'm going to place it on the bottom. So we'll see you in a moment. So we're about 30 seconds left on our bottom curing cycle. And now I'm going to go ahead and get my curing tab and my pit fill prepared. So this is the pit fill. The pit fill is actually going to fill in the pit and make sure that we have a smooth finish on the windshield. Now to do this, you want to just take a little bit of the pit fill on your curing tab and you want to place a little dot right on the curing tab. The pit fill is a very, very thick resin and it's going to cure super hard. And there's our timer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the UV light, set that out of the way. And now I'm actually going to use the UV light again, but I need to go ahead and release the pressure. So to release the pressure, we go ahead and spin back our injector housing just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the pressure. If you have any leakage drips off from the inside of the housing, go ahead and just wipe it quickly. There we go. Now we have a nice clean repair. So let's go ahead and fix the pit. It's hardened out because it's already been cured so we don't have to worry about any mistake ruining the crack because the crack is actually repaired now. We just want to make a smooth surface so we fill in the little pit. So let's go ahead and take our pit fill on our curing tab and place it right on top of the pit. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our curing light and cure it. If we hold it right there for a moment, it will go ahead and harden. There we go. Once it's hardened, I'm going to go ahead and let it stand for two minutes. So I can go ahead and hold it here for two minutes or section it to the window and then we'll see you in a moment. So it's been two minutes and we're going to go ahead and pull off the curing light. So I'm going to go ahead and set my curing light down. Now we're going to pop off the tab. Now to pop off the tab, what you want to do is push on a corner, just bend a corner. If it bends off just like that, then you're good to go. Now we have a nice hardened coat and we're going to go ahead and mess with the coat now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my razor blade and I'm going to go ahead and scrape off the coat. We do that vertically. So we don't do that at an angle. We do that at a clean 90 degree angle. So now I'm going to go ahead and scrape it right off the windshield. Now notice this is making it perfectly flat because we want that resin to fill in the pit. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some glass cleaner and clean off the area so we can inspect the repair. Now what we're doing is wiping off all of the resin that we knocked off with the razor blade. I'm using a microfiber towel to do that. I'm going to flip my towel over so I don't scratch my window and wipe it off. Now the reason we did it in a 90 degree angle is because doing it at a 90 degree angle prevents any type of scratches on the window. Now we have a nice, perfectly restored finish. I'm going to go ahead and pop my mirror off the back and let's check out the repair. 
What we need to do first before we do the repair is we need to go ahead and polish the pit. So I'm going to take my cork and my pit polish. I'm going to go ahead and place a little bit of pit polish on my cork. Now the reason we use a cork for this is the cork is a natural polishing pad and it makes sure that the window looks perfect. So I want to polish outward more than the repair. You notice we got a big outward, now I'm going to go ahead and start polishing it out. The reason we polish further out from the repair is so we get a nice smooth feel. So when the customer goes and feels the window, just make sure that it has a nice smooth repair. Here we go. Now I'm going to grab my microfiber towel and I'm going to buff off any type of resin. There we go. Now I'm going to go get a piece of paper and then we're going to show you the perfect results for this. So now we're done with the repair. I'm going to go ahead and circle it again since all of our cleaning rubbed off the original marker look and let's inspect the repair. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to place it on the back side again so you can see the repair and look at that. The repair is practically gone. It made a good 95% uh, removal high 90s which is really good for a repair remember this is a structural repair with cosmetic benefits so the goal is to make the windshield hard and repair the structure now we have a nice smooth feel and you can barely see the repair over here we have a repair that looked about the same size uh, that needed to be repaired you can see the difference between a repair and a chip on the windshield so this is good for chips any type of bullseyes or stars it's a great way to repair any type of automotive glass acro um, across the board on modern cars or older cars as well. If you, if you guys have any more questions about the glass mechanics kit from Chemical Guys, you can also check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com, or you can find more about our detailing classes like our windshield training and our headlight restoration on our website at smartdetailinguniversity.com. If you have more questions, check out our website, send us an email, or subscribe to our YouTube videos. And remember, have fun, stay clean, keep on detailing.